सो हेलो गाइस टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट डायरेक्टेड ग्राफ्स इन ग्राफ थ्योरी ओके सो हेयर वी आर गिवन अ नेचुरल सर्किट इन विच वी हैव इंटरनल इम्पीडेंस वी हैव इंडक्टर एंड वी हैव अ कैपेसिटर ओके सो वी विल ट्राई टू ड्रॉ द डायरेक्टेड ग्राफ फॉर दिस सर्किट एंड यूजिंग दिस एग्जाम्पल यू विल लर्न हाउ टू how to draw the directed graph if any network is given you can understand the concept here in this video okay so we first the direction of current will be given in the question okay first we will name the node points okay i'll use a different color pen let's name this 1 2 3 4 okay so these are the four node points we have named okay so we will draw these node points here this is point 1 this is point 2 i'll use a different pen this is point 1 this is point 2 this is point 3 point 1 point 2 point 3 and point 4 okay so first the circuit will be given to us we will name the node points and draw the points only okay draw the points only okay then after that we will draw we will represent all the elements by using line by using line let's suppose we have a resistor between 1 and 2 therefore we will draw a line between 1 and 2 it is representing a resistor in the graph in the graph this is the graph in the graph the line is representing an element we don't really care about which element we just care about that there is an element electrical element if it is resistor represented by line if it is inductor it will be represented by line and if it is capacitor then also it will be represented by a line similarly between 2 and 3 we have a resistor so we draw another line okay between 2 and 4 we have a resistor so we draw by another uh, another line between 3 and 4 we have a capacitor that will also be represented by a line okay so this between 2 and 4 we have inductor so a line between 1 and 3 1 and 3 between 1 and 3 we have a inductor therefore it will be represented by a line i have i have drawn curved line instead of drawing like this because it will give additional points so i i have drawn curved line from 1 and 3 and now for this voltage source voltage source for voltage source in directed graph voltage source becomes short circuit becomes short circuit and if there is a current source and if there is a suppose there is a current source instead of this voltage source if there was a current source it would become open circuit as this is a voltage source therefore it will become a short circuit and will be represented by a line suppose if there was a current current source here like this okay instead of battery there was a current source then there wouldn't have been a line there would have been a short circuit there would have been an open circuit now there is short circuit because there is voltage okay so this so this is the graph of this network now for drawing the directed graph this is a normal graph for drawing directed graph we will represent arrows in the graph by we will represent the current direction by arrows in the graph in 1 and 2 the current is flowing from 1 to 2 therefore we put a arrow here this is a normal graph if we don't draw a arrow if we don't draw arrows but if we put arrows it is a directed graph from 2 and 3 current is here therefore we put an arrow here similarly an arrow here an arrow here and an arrow here and the direction of current in this branch is in this direction therefore we also name the branches in the in, we also uh, want to name the branches like suppose this is branch 1 okay for uh, distinguishing between this one and this one we circle this one okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 ठीक है ओके वी हैव नेम्ड ऑल द वी नेम सिमिलरली पुट द नेम्स हेयर दिस इज फिफ्थ ब्रांच दिस इज द सेकेंड ब्रांच दिस इज सॉरी आई हैव नेम्ड लिस्ट दिस आई विल नेम दिस सिक्स सिक्स फोर्थ दिस इज द थर्ड ब्रांच दिस इज द फर्स्ट ब्रांच सो दिस इज द डायरेक्टेड ग्राफ फॉर दिस नेटवर्क ओके 
what we have done we will represent all the nodes by points plot the points here then represent all the internal impedances by line and the voltage and the power sources if it is a voltage source we will represent it by short circuit if it is a current source we will represent it by open circuit and for directed graph we will also put the arrows in the direction of current in the network graph okay now suppose this is the circuit we have to draw the directed graph for the circuit we have a voltage source current source resistor inductor capacitor and we are given the direction so what will we what will be our first step we will name the points this is a node this is a node we name it 2 this is a node 3 and this is a node 4 okay there are no other nodes okay then we plot these nodes as it is and name them 1 2 3 4 okay we have named them now we represent all the internal impedances by a line the capacitor is represented by a line similarly a resistor is represented by a line the inductor now the inductor is also represented similarly this resistor okay now as this is a voltage source this will be shorted okay and this is a current source between 4 and 3 okay this is a current source it will be kept open circuited open circuited but you don't need to draw this in the graph i am just uh, i am just drawing it to make it the concept clear okay there is no impedance here so zero impedance and impedances can be replaced by a line okay so this is the graph now for directed graph we put arrows okay the current is flowing from 1 to 4 here the current is flowing this direction here it is flowing in this direction here it is flowing in this direction and here it is flowing in this direction and here it is flowing in this direction so this is the directed graph of this circuit okay i hope you have understood understood so now we will uh, study how to draw the and uh, how to draw the tree and co tree of a given directed graph that what is tree the tree is the sub graph of this graph okay this graph is the graph of the network a network we have um, we studied just now we studied just now this is the graph i have redrawn it here now for drawing t tree we draw a sub graph of this graph in which the loop is never completed okay but all the knot points are present in the tree so all the knot points will be present so our first step will be same okay we draw these node points 1 2 3 and 4 okay 1 2 3 and 4 we, uh, we name it 3 4 now in the tree what are the number of branches in this number of branches 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay there are six branches in the tree there the number of branches will be 1 minus the number of nodes what are the number of nodes here 4 so the number of branches in the tree will be branches is equal to 3 4 minus 1 okay the number of nodes minus 1 n minus 1 okay the number of branches in the tree will be the number of nodes minus 1 now these three, three branches have are to be placed such that a loop is never completed here the loop is completed we go from here 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 we return to the same point therefore the loop is completed therefore the three branches must not be placed in such a way such that the loop is completed suppose we place one branch here okay the second branch here the third branch here the loop is not completed therefore this is a tree the tree is a subgraph of the directed graph okay in which a loop is never completed but all the nodes are present okay so this is the tree there can be uh, many number of trees this is not only that this is the not only uh, the only this is this is not the only tree uh, of this graph there can also be another tree like suppose i will draw uh, uh, here uh, like uh, we first uh, draw the nodes 1 2 3 4 then we draw the branches first branch is here second branch is here and third branch is here 
only three branches why three branches because the number of branches in the tree is equal to the number of nodes minus one okay in in, in this branch also the loop is never completed the arrow directions uh, will be will be same as that of the main tree the arrow directions are this and the loop is never completed so this is also a tree this is also a tree similarly you can draw many number of trees as long as the loop is not completed if i draw a tree like this this is wrong this is wrong because the loop is completed okay so this is a tree okay so this is these are the trees of a, of this graph there can also be uh, there can also be other diagrams of the tree but for now let's consider this diagram okay this diagram in this diagram what are the branches that we have left out can be represented by dotted lines okay we have left out this branch this branch and this branch okay so let us represent these branches by a dotted lines okay okay so and the arrows will be like this okay so what is coterie the coterie are the remaining the coterie is represented the coterie is represented by the remaining branches of the tree let's suppose we have a graph Th this is the tree for the graph then the coterie is this it is represented by the dotted line for for this co graph for this for this tree the coterie is this okay so this is the coterie it is represented by dotted lines okay in the tree by solid lines okay so this is tree coterie tree coterie the number of branches in tree is equal to n minus 1 these branches of coterie are called links link link i will write it down here link the branches of coterie are called links the branches of a network graph of a directed graph are called branches okay and the branches of a tree are called twigs for t tree it is called twigs for coterie it is called links okay so thank you uh, you can uh, watch the next video in this in this series to understand graph theory of the network analysis and synthesis